Today we are at one of golf's best kept secrets in the north of England. We are in Cumbria, we're on the west side of Cumbria, we're not too far from Ulverston. Look at the view that beholds us, absolutely stunning. We are at Dunner Home Golf Club, founded in 1905. This place looks absolutely incredible. We're going to see if we can break par here. 18 holes, set yourself in because this is going to be a serious treat. I can't wait to get going. Let's get to the first tee. So a little bit about the course before we peg off. It's a par 72. It's 6,000 yards off the white tees, about 5,800 off the yellow tees. Interestingly, this golf course has got 10 greens, but 18 holes. You miss out the six green on the second time round, but you play from a totally different set of tees. The first tee compared to where the 11th tee, let's say, where you're playing to the same green, it's a good 70 yards over there and plays on a completely different angle. So a lot of the holes you're playing from totally different points, which make it look very different all the way around. So that's going to be incredible. But the sixth hole and the seventh tee are meant to be unbelievable you're playing up to a big rock that was part of the old rock face that is now a big green on top of it and then you tee off from up there so make sure you stay tuned for that you only get to play that once as well and we've even been given permission to play from the top rock tee which uh, isn't open at the moment but lynn the lovely lady who works here said get up on there don't duff it into the houses but go and enjoy the view so I'm looking for that one, but the first hole runs straight down. It's 299 yards as a par four. I'm going to hit a four iron. My golf, I think we're teetering on the edge of something very good. I've been shooting round about three, four over with two big blow up holes during the round, but having 15, 16 holes of pretty decent golf. So if we can tie it all together today, I think this golf course would be a brilliant place to do it, guys. Let's get going. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already, leave us a comment on what you think, and let's play Dunner Home Golf Club, a very, very good looking golf course. Let's go. They went down the middle of the fairway, so that's always a positive start for us. We're off folks, we're running, buzzing, comment down below what we're scoring. I can't wait. So if you haven't watched as well, we've uh, obviously well, obviously you won't know because you haven't watched, but we've partnered fully now with Mizuno. So this is the first time I've got all my new Mizuno clubs in my bag. 52 wedge and a 58 wedge. I've dropped a wedge and I've got quite a lot of head covers. I've got four woods in total. Driver, three wood, five wood, seven wood. Interchange the seven wood with a two iron sometimes, but I'm excited to use all these bits today. I use the wedges on a social game the other day and actually hit some really good ones so let's see if we can do that now we've got 82 yards It'd be lovely to open with a bird here don't curse it oh no pulled it proper cursed it not the wedges that was me that was a terrible golf swing right anyway come on come on always a little bit of drama at the start of each video Hit a great iron, missed the green with a wedge. Chip and a putt solves it all. Greens look really nice for this time of year, October. Didn't quite get me strike on that. Standard Matt Fryer start. Put yourself in a great position and then have real hard work for a par. Mm. Standard, standard, stupid bogey. Well, not what I wanted after hitting the perfect tee shot. Just that I really need to, I think, spend the majority of my winter practice on chipping because a basic chip, and I've just left it with no real go at the hole. But hey ho, onwards we go. Here for a good day. I'm not going to let silly things like that ruin it. The second hole here, 350 yards. First, really good look at the. Uh, the mountain range that you got, you got Scarfell in the distance out this way. Just looks class, I could play golf here every single day if the views were like that. We've got it on a bit of a nice calmer day. A little bit brisk with the wind, no rain which is nice. But 350, there is a brook running across at about 280 as well, so I'm going to hit 5 wood. Try and just keep it in play, just plod it along and see what we can do today. That's the main aim. Softly, just 
come a bit right. Oh yeah, seen it, not in the fairway, just a bit right. Took a bit of a bounce and hop. Might be a little bit wet. There was actual flood warnings in England yesterday, so I would expect the ground's gonna be a little bit wet. It's amazing that it's actually open. A lot of places are closed today, but we're lucky. Onwards we go. Just in the right hand semi, 140 yards today wins into it's about a club and a half so eight iron for me goes 165 so i think this just a committed sort of flighted shot should be the right number just play a little bit right of the flag there's a lot more green there i also have the tendency to pull it as well let's see what we can do Ooh, get down a bit I've hit the green, but I'm quite away from the flag. A little pushy, that's two pushes there, but it's a green in rag, we move on, we move on. That's like the green on the rock, if you can see it. You got all the sort of mountain range and this is where it's built up to. I don't know what kind of rock it was, I will look it up, but it was a limestone rock, I've just been informed. And then they put the green up on top of it. It does look incredible when we get out to there a little bit later on, but early signs i'm absolutely loving this golf course wasn't far out just needed a bit more i think there is going to be a big problem today and that's just not to get distracted by the views because everywhere you look it just looks brilliant and i keep sort of getting lost in all that all right come on let's tidy up Take that, just trickled over, lovely. Would have been a bit of a sour start if I would have gone bogey bogey, but not the end of the world when you've got stuff like this going on. A nice little par, it's a little nerve settler, that one. Good two putt from pace, always tricky to get your pace early on, I think. One thing that I said I would probably try and do a little bit more of is set myself some targets. So what I want to try and do today, I'm already down on this one, I know. Just have 70% up and downs. High target, maybe a little bit unrealistic how bad I've been chipping, but I want to set myself that goal. I want to try and hit out of the 18 greens. I want to try and hit 14 greens and then out of the fairways. I want to try and hit a 70% fairway. I'm not near, anywhere near those in my stats. We'll throw those up, what we've got from shot scope here. But I need to be a little bit sharper around the greens and I want to try and be if I can the greens look great and they're not running super quick so I can be a bit aggressive I want to be sub 30 putts so those are my targets we'll, we'll keep an eye on those as we're going through let me know if you have any targets as well that you do when you're trying to play golf so there's water running all the way down the third hole to the right it's 451 yards off the white tee today into the wind a stroke one this is going to be a good hit I'm not I'm gonna hit my three wood, I'm not risking my driver yet. I'm gonna try and build my score. Play it probably more of a three wood and then a probably five or six iron, I would imagine, if I get a, a good one of these away. But get it in play and go from there. That's the plan anyway. Just look at the backdrop. That's so good. That is so, so good. All right. What I love about this, you can sort of pick a spot in the mountain where you're gonna hit it at. So which peak are you going for? Cat's bells, scar fell, pick it, hit it, and go from there. Ooh, it's just leaking a little left. I'm not sure there. Looked gorsy. I'll just hit a provisional just in case. Hopefully the other one's okay. We will soon see. That one's definitely okay because it's dead centre. Popped up in the air a little bit, but it's in play. Let's see if we can find the first one. So this isn't a par five. 200, I found it, sat quite nice to be fair. Level with my other one. But the issue is I've got 235 and there's no way I'm getting that on the green from there. I think I just try and hit a eight iron down and rely on a good pitch, maybe accept it's gonna be a bogey, nothing we can do about it. 
shouldn't be here in the first place if we get a par great this should come out well enough just pop it and get it near that bridge oh my gosh get down get down quickly that has literally gone out at a right angle drop ball there we're in the hazard gone from sort of this line so dropped on the line it's gone in under that penalty which isn't ideal we've got 130 yards now to the flag which looks like it's right on the back of the green so I'm going to hit pitching wedge get this as close as I can hopefully get an up and down this is that sort of disaster hole that I just don't need tried to be sensible there and just the way it was lying it just came out at a right angle but hey ho we move on we move on go 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 that's the wrong club that man no you're in three like territory oh silly silly boy all right not where we need to be long old put up here now we need a miracle what i need to do is make sure that i just two put Keep going, keep going. Well, that's reluctancy. Pin eye, that'll do. Bloody double again, though. I'm sick of having doubles and triples. Every round, we've got them in. That was one of my worst golf putting strokes I've ever made. Proper figure loop of eight, that, but... <sighs> it's a familiar place. Terrible start. Now we've got a lot of work to do. The course record here is five under par, 67. I'd need to have eight birdies. It can be done, but what I need to do is just stop the stupid errors. I don't feel like I've done much wrong down there. Yes, fairway not found, but only just in the rough. Trying to lay up, wedge on, take my bogey. Ball squirts out right. Wrong club maybe coming in, but we go on. The good thing is we've got a beautiful golf course to play, and if we just spin round, you can see the top of the rock there where the six green is just up. We can just see the flag fluttering against the mountains at the back. We've got that to come yet, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. We can keep it going. The fourth hole is a par three. I mean, what a view. Picks you up after that dismal hole. But it's 170 yards, bunker front right, little bunker left. Gonna go five iron, playing about 25 yards longer normally be hitting probably a seven iron in here so we've got a good strong two club wind and go up to four iron you know if this gets up in the air it just doesn't get there it's one one eight five to the back four iron can do that don't mind when you hit it that high and right that went up in the air didn't it not the ball flight for a windy coastal course that matthew just teed off on four. Spirits could do with being a little bit higher, but proper substance for a golfer. Got some hula hoops. That'll keep me going now. I can see my golf ball just on the fringe, about 20 shy. Glad I changed it up to a four iron there. Oh, that's going to be a tricky up and down. But we battle on course. Overwhelmed at how good it actually is. Sort of drove in and thought, ooh, what's going on here? But straight away, it's already looking very, very good. Not a bad miss after all. Pretty much level with the front of the green, about 10 paces up. Quite a bit of room to work with. Just need to throw it on and let it trundle it out. Just nothing, nothing overly complicated. Just a little bit flatter than I wanted. That thought it was gonna pop, but got quite a bit of grip on the old groovy woovies. Stay, stay. Oh, I literally thought that was gonna just go over the right edge, but par three. I need to need to get a grip on it. I did say in the last last in the red that dad wasn't gonna be my coach anymore. I think I need to find a coach quickly starting to 
question some of the good shots I'm now hitting and get a little bit unconfident, but we move on. 381 yards off the back peg is here. I looked at the scorecard when we were coming through and thought, hmm, 6,000, that'll be nice. That should do me. First four holes we've played, bar the first, have been straight into the teeth. 380's playing about 450. But at least we get to play a few coming back down the wind. No hazards on this one, it's just straight away out towards the bay. Going to hit three wood. Favour the right, it looks like, here. Oh my god, that is so far right. Get down softly. Right on line with those people. <laughs> yeah, not got a feeling for my golf swing. This is going to be a fun round of golf. Got 190 yards into a 380 yard hole. <laughs> that is, I think the wind picked up from when we started. I can get me seven wood on that. My new little seven wood. Yeah, sat nice, it'll pop up. Should get all the way there. I think that's pretty central, that pin location, so go straight at it. Let's grind a par out. Oh my god. I'm not going to throw a club today, but I want to. Hate golf at the minute, hate it. That view helps lift your spirits when you're questioning everything about life. It's a uh, incredible, incredible view that. Did you know it's actually only £30 to play here as well, to play 10 or 18 holes and £20 in the winter. And given that it's like right close to everything I would imagine, it's generally pretty dry out here as well. Yes, it's not going to be championship links condition, but that's truly incredible. And then six and seven that we've got to come in a minute, I think you'd probably pay 20, 30 quid just to play those holes. Right, we've got 50 yards. This way we need to up and down it. Can't wait to turn back down the wind and get a bit of a break. Crikey. Jiminy Cricket, it was a golf shot, folks. Jiminy Cricket. Come on, gotta keep the dream alive. Oh, yes! Somehow, when I'm feeling like it's all over, we've scraped two pars together. I'm ecstatic about a par, that's where my golf is at the minute, but we can keep it going. We're gonna play this incredible hole now. This is a truly epic hole, you'll see it on the drone. Got this sort of limestone feature here, the old limestone and the green's been built up onto the top of that. It's like a, a complete circle there. So 142 to the middle, 154 to the back. It's about getting it up. The wind's sort of across here, so I'm gonna hit eight iron. And then we can have a look on the drone, see where it gets. It's not playing as much into it. It's gonna move it to the, to the left, if anything, the flag. He's going to be just left of the pole about on the edge of the bushes as we look at it. So I've got to get it up. I'm going to play it up the right and let it swing in there, hopefully. I mean, what a shot space for a hole in one, eh? That's how deluded golfers are, playing like an absolute toe rag for five holes, and now I'm calling hole in one. Anyway, what a golf hole. This is, this is pure, and I think the next tee is going to be incredible as well. So wish us luck, folks. 142 across the wind. Come on. Should be centre of the green. Come on. Have we found the green? Don't know. Can't see on the drone. Oh, I think I'm short right. What a golf hole though. What an absolute Bobby Dazzler of a golf hole. Well folks, we've got up to the top and this. I mean if you don't think this is worth £30. You've got something, something wrong with you because I think this is one of the best views I've seen on a golf course in a long, long, long time. You just stretch all the way around, going out here, Irish seas out there. You're coming round and then you're just going up the, the coast here into the Lake Districts, into the heart of Cumbria, and then Scotland's up yonder. Wow.
Well, let's see if we can uh, we can make par. Looks like we're on the wrong side of the flag. It's going to be a slick one down here. But this is fun when they get it baked out in summer. If it was crispy, you'd pray for a pin up on the right and and hit it up here because it would be very very slick. But we need to be sort of up here and letting it fall down somewhere. Luckily the greens are at that nice pace where I'm not too fearful of it. Get going, get going. I knew that was a bit short, just sort of took a few early jumps off here and I was a bit scared of it. We've got chances. Break, 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 break. Ah. I don't know why I was calling for that to break. Not ideal, I think I was just a little bit too smut, too scared of that first put of running it by, but hey ho, it's a bogey. We move on. At least we've got that breathtaking view. That is, that is incredible. All right, onwards. The seventh hole, which is known as the wall hole. Again, you're still up here, stunning view. Sometimes this isn't in play. T down below as well, there are some houses just down here. It's out of bounds all the way down the right. There's a wall that runs in front of the green at like 250. So just gonna poke a four iron down, hopefully get a chip and a putt. Get back on track after that little three jiggle. And we should, should be okay. Perfect. Straight down the middle. Oh, just drifting right. Fairway found. Right. Onwards. That was the best tee shot I've ever got to hit, I think. <laughs> Brilliant. So we just wind our way down the track. You actually only get to play that hole once. You uh, don't play the sixth hole again. And then you don't get to play from that tee. I think this green is in use again. But it's sort of the only time that you get the views of the mountain range so close and up from that high, everything else is down on the, the tier below, but that is by far one of the best golf course views I think I've ever seen. Beautiful. Depay, you know, whether you're not quite scoring to how you would like, this guy, and this house here by the way, probably the best view that you get, lovely little balcony overlooking it, but that is a serious, Serious view, very, very underrated. That's probably why I say it's one of the uh, best kept secrets. Because if you're getting views like that, I think for 30 quid they're, uh, they're not charging enough. Right, let's go and see if we can salvage something from this nine holes now. Right, 68 yards to the flag. One of those, one of those. Come on, Matthew, let's hit a bloody good shot. Missed it right. Should be the right number. Okay, good news is this is going to get my up and down rate up because we've just trickled off the green, but shouldn't be missing it from where we were. But it's only 21, 22 feet. Just wiggled a little bit left off the blade through the fringe, but a simple par. It's the easiest par we've made all day, thank God. What a great hole, those two holes. I'd pay 30 quid just to play them once. They were incredible. We turn back down the wind now, so onwards and upwards, Jeffrey. Right, the eighth is the first par five we face. 529 yards, pretty much straight down as we go through. I think there is a little bit of a, like a blind hump in the, uh, the fairway, but looks a bit wider. So we're gonna get the old driver out. Try and just hit that little cut that I was so good with. Let's give it a go, come on. Over this gorse and let it fade. It's down the fairway, a bit necky. Not my best, but it's down there. It'll play. Shows how strong the wind is. I've absolutely nobbled my drive out the heel and I've only got 235 yards, so it's gone 300 down the wind with a miss hit. 239, I'm gonna go five iron. Hopefully get this up in the air. It's on a nice, potentially flyery lie. Get this up, let it launch, let it go. 
Come on. Yeah, hit a push cut into the gorse. I've hit that that bad, it stayed short of all the rubbish. Not ideal, a bit shy of all the, the junk here, luckily. And hopefully we're gonna hit the par five and two. But we're gonna have to hedge out and try. I mean, I would have loved a birdie. Just love a par nowadays. Get in the trap. I was like, oh. So hard to stay positive when you play so bad. Go in. <sighs> really starting to get me down. I thought I was close, but it's now starting to feel like I'm a million, million miles away. Break. Good bogey, Matt. Don't want to sound woe is me, but I am feeling a little bit fed up of golf at the minute. Just actually putting a bit of work in, but just feel like I'm treading water and going nowhere. It's very deflating, but let's try and enjoy the next nine holes. <sighs> See if we can do any better. Ninth hole here is 358. There is a brook that dissects the uh, the fairway that starts at about 215 and runs all the way to about 245. It's one of those that's a little bit blind as well because of all the gorse out in front of you. You can get a bit of a view of it, but I think left plays longer and right plays shorter. So I'm going to go five iron. Try and pick morale up here. Hopefully the views of the course are good. I know I'm five over par the obviously aim of all these things is to try and break par i'm trying to work my way towards that first win but right now feels like the first time to break par again but we'll soldier on come on come on matt you're a lucky lad to do this that should be fairway oh saw a good bounce so I'm thinking fairway. Let's find out how we cock this one up on another episode of Matt is a chopper. Right, we've actually found a fairway. Wowzers. 125 to a flag that is tight left, so I'm gonna aim center of the green. I'm not good enough to aim at flags today. Play middle, hit me 52. Let's see if we can do something basic. Come on. Don't do it. Guess where we are? Left of the flag. <laughs> Just <laughs> cut like old me, old me. I wouldn't have a golf club left and this video would not make the internet. I would put my foot through every golf club even though they're not the issue. <sighs> Just got a battle on, come on. These days are sent to test us. Tell you what, we might keep the up and that stands going though. One positive, find that silver lining folks. That's what the good help people say. <sighs> come on boy, come on, come on. Yep, it's a par. Par just about. Come on, let's keep going. That's nine holes, what did we shoot? Five over for nine holes. We had a double, bogey the first, par the next. Doubled the one after that, we parred the one after that, we bogeyed the one after that, I think. And a parred four and a parred five, so that means it was three over. Bogeyed the one on top of the hill six. Parred seven, I uh, just bogeyed eight, so that means I was five over, and there was a par. So that's five over after nine. We've got nine holes to go. Don't play the six. Fly around those hit some mediocre shots and just do everything basic fairway middle of the green that's all i've got to do just got those holes coming back into the wind so the 10th here you play on the left hand side of the golf club you go up a hill and then it runs down from there saw the line it's right next to the first tee so if you can get it up near the first tee it does actually trundle in there it's playing 285 down the wind it's going to hit my five wood just to get it up on top and try and keep it somewhere safe 
not make this into a calamity. Went straight over the top of the pole. Nice, that little five wood. Just found the green side trap, so splash it up out. And we should, should be good from there. Cheers. Could be better my score, but yeah, yeah just it's, it's tough this wind round here. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. Find it, find it it's always breezy. And it's just tough. yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just well, I'm glad oh, you enjoyed yeah. it. I, yeah, I knew you would. Yeah, I knew you would. it's a uh, proper golf course, yeah, isn't it? Good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah good loving life. it. Yeah, right, yeah. Nice. Thank you. That's the uh, the captain and the greens chairman here. Really nice blokes came and met us on the first tee and welcomed with us, which was nice and really proud of the golf course, which is nice to see. Let's see if we can make an up and down here for them. Oh, we have. <laughs> we need we need support like that everywhere we go. That's that's like cheerleader stuff. That feels rejuvenated. Cheers, guys. So this is one of the holes, the 11th, that you start to play the same again, but from a totally different angle. It looks 315 from here, plays down more of a sort of a straight one, probably a little bit easier the tee shot, but looks on a totally different angle. Let's see if we can get this going, come on. That'll do. We know not what to do from the middle of the fairway there. Right, onwards. That was great to see there, the captain and the, uh, the chairman of Green just coming out to say they welcomed us on the first tee, told us a little bit about the club. But great to see, you know, they're really proud of the golf course. Chairman of Green's obviously wanted to know what it was like and the Green's are magnificent. I think if they, uh, they got them ironed and got them shaved low, they're not going to do that because it's winter time, but they'd be seriously impressive. And each hole, the layout of it, nothing's been the same yet it's not just been up down up down it's all very different little holes intricate little greens and it's a true test of golf and it is very of course that i think they can all be very very proud of definitely 100 percent worth visiting if you are in the area right 20 yards closer than we had on the first time we played this 66 yards i know not to miss left just got to get that face open i'm just going to hit it up the right and let it come in from there is the plan Let's keep it going. I'm feeling empowered by the uh, the nice gents there then. Come on, let's do them proud. Dig yourself out of the hole, Matt. Sit. Go in. Ooh, nearly did go in. Just a little bold. I'm just shutting my face on all my pitches at the minute. Well, today. It's coming out a bit fiery, but not the end of the world. Good news. Cows aren't sitting down, so we know it's not going to rain. That's uh, you don't need a weather app, just, you just need a cow. A little bit feisty in there, probably should have played that with a 58, but not the end of the world. Get going, get going. Right, online as well. That would have been nice back to backers. Right, it's a better run. Birdie par. The fight's on, let's go. So the 12th is playing 337 yards, similar sort of yardage, but we're about 70 yards across. And it plays as a dog leg now is where it was straight down before. Quite a nice looking hole. This here as well, they've got a, a little short game area. They've got 50 junior members here and they have coaching every single Monday night and saying they've seen a lot of juniors sort of flourish and grow, which is great to hear. And, you would think, you know, the course is a little bit remote in where it is, you know, not a big city nearby. So mega to hear that they're doing well with the juniors and long may that continue. But well, anyway, I'm going to hit three wood over the gorse, just try and find this fairway and build upon a little wave of positivity we are having. Hold your line, wind's hit that. I think we're on the fairway, just on the right side of it. Job done. Amazing what a few good golf swings some nice people can do to your mood. 
don't hate golf right now turn back looking at the uh the lovely mountainous region 120 i hit eight iron in here before i think i had 140 the first time around so i'm going to chip a little eight iron now because anything that gets up into the wind is just buffering so aim a little bit right let's keep it going come on turn left for me it's a good yardage not a bad shot very sort of safe but it's what we needed to do know your limitations when it's not going to plan just aim at the middle of the green and hopefully you can hole a putt or two from there half the distance of the first time around so you know we've improved there we have improved Just tap it in, Joe. Just tap it in. Simples, just tap it in. Easy one, that, when the greens are that good. What I'm quite happy about, what I've just noticed, is that the hole that got me, the third, made double, par four. This time around, we're back about 40 yards. Par five, thanks for coming. Let's get it going. So the 13th plays 483 from the other tee over there straight down you sort of go over the corner of the gorse that we found ourselves near last time and almost it's it's sort of half blind but it almost looks a bit more generous now because you know there's more fairway out to the right and you can go out that way so just bang this down the middle to right and we should be good oh why i don't know on that line I'll have to hit a provisional, I know that. But looking at where that went, it could be in a very similar spot to last time. Always easy the second time around, isn't it? Straight down the banner. Looking at where that's got to, my first one, I think actually, might just be left side of the fairway. Because I thought that was going to be sort of middle of the fairway and it's it's long right we've got decisions to be made i actually found the fairway comfortably on the angle that you play the third hole from that would have been where we were before sort of up there in that gap but you play it on this right to leg dog leg and we're okay now here i've got water that's in front of the green that comes in at it's 230 up to the water I think I'll let a four iron lay up, try and up and down it. Beautiful. What a weird, weird round of golf. I felt the lowest I'd felt coming off the eighth hole in a long time. And now just sort of poking it round and feeling good about the game. Crazy. 96 yards to the flag now i'm going to take my pitching wedge and just knock it down flight it hopefully get a little birdie here on a little roll that would be lovely don't think of score just what's the shot let's hit that shot matt three quarter little known committal duff just when you think it's going well <sighs> he's back angry matt's back i think we need him back positivity matt was sapping the life out of me <sighs> right folks i've had 30 seconds to <laughs> calm down up and down done all the good work right come on little nine iron bump and run nothing nothing overly taxing here matt actually do you know what was the stupid thing i thought about my score over that ball and i thought if you can you get a good wedge here you up and down it you'll be three over par that's incredible for how bad you played on the front nine. Oh, wasn't thinking about what i was meant to be doing so now where do you want to land it on that patch there with a low running flight that's what you want to do you actually hit that pretty well so can't be too disheartened don't feel like i've holed any put of real length yet like a 10 15 footer let's say 
let's see if we can change those circumstances right now right now break 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 no darn on your putter such a slight oh. you've done the hard way you get it in the fairway you hit a good layup you duff it you hit a poor chip i've just fatted a wedge 70 yards it's pathetic just need a clear i think i need what is it you know when you have you know some mind treatment where they just pump drugs into your head so you mm, go brain dead i think i need that it's just 14th holds the par three back into the wind. It's playing a little bit less. 156. I'm going five iron because four iron was the previous club. Yeah, I'm going to hit a great shot now. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit a great shot and get back to where I was. Go on, wind, push that. I think it's going to be on the green. Looks sort of pin high in distance. I struck it really nice. We'll see, probably plugged in the face of a bunker. I have absolutely busted that five iron and I've pitched here. That is one, two, three yards by. That's just gone 155 yards. <laughs> just shows you the wind. Actual birdie look. Here we go, come on. Come on, roll one in, Matt. Roll one in. Get this emotional roller coaster all over the show. I was about to give it a big savvy then. It's actually gone over the hole at no pace. Don't worry. My emotions, see that was that mountain range there the peaks and the troughs. We started in the middle, we got somewhere to near the bottom, round about when we met the club captain and the uh, Greens chairman. We got all the way up to the top, we're quickly making our way back down to the bottom, but in the next spree of holes, because we're playing straight at them, we're going to scale those heights once more. Let's go, come on. So 15 par four playing straight at the mountain range. I think it drives, I hit three wood, seven wood in here, so I'm gonna hit driver now, because it's got a bit longer. See if we can muster up some might. Just down the right side of the fairway. Right, onwards folks, let's, let's keep it going. Well, just crept off the fairway, 162 yards to go. I'm gonna hit four iron as low as I can and get it hopefully on the green. Let's see if we can do just that. Look at that backdrop, that's incredible. Very special place, the Lake District. I mean, you could have the best little trip up here. You could come and play here, play Windermere, play like Furness, stay in, stay in like Keswick or somewhere, Ambleside, have a bit of a ramble, a few jars, bit of great food, play some more golf, get a boat out on the lake. I mean, I think I found out what I'm gonna do, bar the golf bit, when I retire. That's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. Right, anyway, come on, four iron, low driller. Strike it any better, you can't. It's just 40 yards short. Wow, the wind hit that hard. I can't hit like seven wood or five wood there, that's insane. Uh, anyway, we move on, come on, come on. Well, I thought we'd actually wound up about 20 short, but we haven't. We've hit the dance floor. Hit a four iron and a five iron out of my skin, no further than 162. Got a bit of a, a downhill runner. Hmm. A little bit of a toe strike there and didn't quite get its run. Remove the flag. That little flag logo is pretty cool, isn't it? The, uh, yes. the rock. Oh, I thought that was going to miss. I thought that was going to miss, I reckon if it had of, I could have probably reached the estuary with my putter throw. It looks a mere 500 yards away, but the way the emotions were riding, the caber with a good release could get there. 
good news is we've just turned now and we're going all the way downwind back in so you play the 16th here you do miss now the the great par three that we saw earlier and the uh the hole down here but this is sort of like a, imagine a june july night round about 9 p.m just having nine holes out here that would be sensational might even bring me tent right anyway par five five three six we've got three holes to go see if we can scrape one or two back obviously not going to break par again because i can't but if we could if we could do something magical here who knows well, that's a good start because that is a lovely little fade down the middle go on get bouncing october and the ball's still bouncing that's what we want folks all right come on so we've just turned away from the uh, hills for the last time probably a little black outline there for you in the background but if you know of any courses that are like this in your area we're actually going to play a couple more around here we were due to but um weather didn't let us put some comments down below because i think it's clubs like this that we need to maybe play a little bit more on in the red that are our sort of hidden gems best kept secrets sort of things like that that are quality golf courses in great condition at a good price and have you know really good people at the club so we can see how proud the captain greens chairman secretary before we went out and if we can show them a little bit more and a few people visit it's only going to help the club me playing terrible golf doesn't matter but uh, showing off the golf course itself that's that's what we're here to do so let's see if we can do anything on this par five anyway now right two four five we were just pretty much level with this on the right side last time and hit a <laughs> golf shot so i'm gonna hit a good one now guess what he's hit it left this time right into that little mound should be an easy chip and putt from there right interesting one for all my bad behavior i'm getting a little prickle on one's bottom um luckily if that gets online if i hit it online it's sort of pitching here bouncing up if shoulda woulda coulda and all that anyway hack this or pitch this i should say to that front corner and let it bumble oh it's poking me let it pop up from there it's in me die it's painful softly chipping that came out pretty nasty out of that way not a lot we could do there but not in a good spot anyhow we move on just over the back these are the ones i need to get right Ah, wasn't meant to be shame two times i had 245 down the wind in and made par there but i don't think my game warrants birdies at the minute right 346 the 17th plays from the other tees it's a similar yardage but here it feels a bit closer and more straight down and you can see it so where off the other tee it's more blind so i'm going to go driver because it's still only 240 to get by if we can get driver away a oh, little bit in front of the tees there matthew we might leave ourselves about 30 yards so fingers crossed and then chipping a putt it's just left of the flag seeing it bounce look like it's stuck a little bit though in the softness down the left should be pretty decent though i think right 45 yards to the flag comfortably cleared the brook a little bit wet down this side so it was plugged and we've taken it out but finished strong a nice birdie birdie finish would be would make up for it for being a calamitous sort of day i would say kick left go in oh wow that's run wow never thought that would have bounced that far come on left to right over that little hump oh, not meant to be today 
Just needed a bit more pace to stop it from dying. I can't believe that pitch has ran on so far, but can't be annoyed. I did what I wanted to. I landed it at the front thinking it would kill into the upslope and it just sort of skirted on. But if we look at my past few scores, I think they're all five overs, which we're currently right on the brink of. I think I'm either, I am five over par. Just disappointing because I wanted to play well here today. Anyhow, one hole to go. It's been a real pleasure playing here. The views are incredible. The conditions great. Quality for money is just outstanding. And the people are lovely as well. And it's a, uh, it's a tough golf course. So those holes going into the wind are hard and then the ones coming down, you've still got to play those well. It really asks a lot of you. So definitely gets a thumbs up from us. We're going to go and play 18, see if we can finish in style. So the 18th hole plays 294 yards. What was it? 285 off the other one. I hit five. I'm going to hit three wood this time. Weirdly, you're like only 10 yards behind, but it looks 20, 40, 50 yards further. Anyway, get this on the green. Just right of the post. In for one. Shot two over par. Great round of golf. Lols. Come on. Come on. That has to be a hole in one. That is on such a good line. Should have just played this hole 18 times. Would have done all right then. Right, hopefully that's got a favorable kick and he's sat either at the bottom of the cup or a tapping distance away. And then we've had a great day. Well, we've just found front edge of the green pretty much fronts here backs there we've got a way to go down this slope it's going to break in from right to left but let's see if we can birdie this hole two times on a row not risking chipping just going to get the blade rolling get it out there and let it trundle down come on that should break in now wait it's going to break broke then at the end not far away what a lovely day golf's not been what I want that's a progression at the moment that's a journey that we're gonna have to keep working our way through keep battling and I thank you all for watching and supporting and I'll hit push putts like that oh, it just sums up the day that doesn't it sums it up guys thank you for watching done a home golf club come and check it out it is truly truly magnificent here what a beautiful beautiful setting for a golf course truly special just shows you don't need 18 greens to make it good just put them here and it's spot on see you in the next one five over par again class